To other news of the day, Lloyd Minster's by-election is now underway. Today was the last day to throw your hat into the ring to run for mayor or Catholic school board trustee. Now, two people have submitted their nomination papers to run for mayor. They are Deputy Mayor Rob Saunders and previous councillor candidate Cheryl Ross. Now three people have filed nomination papers for the Catholic school board. They are Calvin Edward Fendelay, Verna McFarlane and Christopher Raymond. Candidates have until tomorrow at 4 p.m. to withdraw their name if they choose to. Until then, this is the unofficial list of those running and the by-election is slated for October 16th. The Border City Safeway is preparing for a big move as it takes over the old Zellers location in the mall. Officials tell Newcap News the new layout will be similar to new stores you would see in Edmonton or Calgary. Now the site is currently blocked off as construction is well on its way. The new Safeway will be 53,000 square feet, almost double the size of the current store. Our customers have spoken and they've told us that they, they like our little store in Lloydminster. I mean, certainly it's served the community well for decades, but, but really the time has come with the expanding Lloydminster marketplace so that we can better serve the needs of our customers. In addition to expanded produce, meat and bakery sections, the new location will include a Starbucks and full gas bar. We're going to require uh, a significant increase in the number of employees uh, to staff this store. So with that uh, will come the need for approximately 70 new employees for Safeway. The new location will begin the hiring process to fill those spots in the middle of October. Officials say they hope to open the store before Christmas. Chicken connoisseurs brought their most delicious work to the table this morning. Six contestants took part in a MasterChef style cook-off hosted by Lloyd FM to win a eat and greet with the Zach Brown Band. Now to even the playing field, the chicken had to be from Lower Shannon Farms. It had to be breaded and either fried or baked. Five judges, two from Lloyd FM, two from Boundary Ford, and one from Lower Shannon Farms tasted the fried chicken and chose the best dish. Now the judges agree the competition was tight. It was amazing to see the effort that the contestants went to. Uh, they made some wonderful chicken and uh, I'm amazed at the level of uh, culinary skill we have in Lloydminster. With the math, I think there was a quarter point separating the two, so it was extremely close. Now in the end, the winner was Carla Strunk. She says she was surprised to learn that she even qualified for the competition. Actually, my husband on my birthday phoned in and qualified and phoned me up and told me I'd be cooking chickens. And now she's off to Edmonton to meet and be served food by members of the Zach Brown Band. We enjoy listening to their music. My daughter loves the song Chicken Fry, so yeah, it's, it plays often at our place. Her fried chicken secret, just some seasoning salt and Montreal steak spice.